Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is Corel 2018, some new features. And the feature is called Block Shadow. And I've got an artistic text. We need to convert that to a curve. You can go up to Object and convert it to Curve. You can Control Q. Let's back up here. Or you can actually just be on your item and right click and convert it to a curve. It needs to be a curve to do this. We're going to go ahead and change our text to a light gray. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take it back. Everybody, if you've used Corel for a little bit, you know about drop shadow. And drop shadow is where you can kind of make it look fuzzy. And you can change, you know, change some things and, and uh, make it fuzzier or, or more or less. And uh, it's a pretty neat effect. But Block Shadow is a little bit different. It works like the Extrude tool. We've still got our curve. I'm going to go to Block Shadow. And I'm going to just move it, click on it, and just move it a little bit out of the way. Now they're both black. You can click on this right here and make it a gray. I still do not like the new Corel uh, way you find colors. And then there you have it. So you've got a, a pretty neat looking shadow effect. Now, if I was going to engrave this, and if you watch enough of my videos, I've done this several times, I would select it all, go up to object, and break block shadow apart. And now I'm going to set my nudge distance. This thing is 20, almost 27 inches long. I'm going to make sure I get off the page. I'm going to put it at 30 inches. I'm going to run that at like 100 power, 100 speed. Then I'm going to take that out of the picture. And with your nudge distance, you're putting it exactly right back. And then I would run that at 100 power at whatever you use to get it deep, you know, 50 speed, 75 speed, and you're going to get a different depth. Now, there are going to be some people that are going to go, you could color map that. And once you've got it apart, you can actually easily change the colors to different grays once you've broken it apart. You could color map this for sure, but the lasers having to slow down, you know, with the power, and it's just, to me, it's easier in a double pass, and I think you get a better uh, example. And this is something you can play with it. And, the, and one reason I like this, if you did it this way, if the gray wasn't quite deep enough, you know, the black's going to be definitely deep enough, but if the gray is just a little bit too light, you can run it again at a, you know, 50 power at 100 speed and just put a little bit more engraving on it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.